JavaScript is the IKEA of languages. It looks nice. It's widely available. And what's up with Oracle and JavaScript? Oracle, through acquisitions, owns the trademark to JavaScript. Um, it had a totally different name. The Netscape guys went out and met with Sun Microsystems, and they had just made Java, and that was a hot new language. And they and just they, tricked And them. they took their language that they made in 10 days, and they said, we're calling it JavaScript, and we're getting it standardized. <laughs> What? They and somehow so convinced the Sun people that it would be good for Java <laughs> if their scripting language was allowed to use the Java trademark too as JavaScript. What were they thinking? Then Oracle bought Sun and that's how they ended out with the trademark on JavaScript, which never even was Sun's thing. And they're doing nothing with it. Obviously, their website has some JavaScript in it and things. But they're not building any products with JavaScript in the name, which you know, is a requirement to keep the trademark. You have to show you're using it in the marketplace. They must have some good lawyers, though, because they still have the trademark. <laughs> yes, yeah, so there, there are lawsuits going on, and their lawyers seem to have made mistakes or had so little to go on. As evidence they were using the trademark, they turned in you know screenshots of other people's websites. <laughs> Did their lawyer go crazy or use ChatGPT? GPT? <laughs> or did they just have no evidence at all, so they just put something there? <laughs> oh, JavaScript. I, I want to hear from you a story. What happened with left pad? <laughs> right, so JavaScript, there's this giant left pad scandal. There is a there is a license controversy in a, a tiny little library called left pad. So I, all this code did is if you wanted, you know, some text aligned, it would put extra spaces. Why people couldn't do that themselves, I don't know. But they but yeah, it, it broke countless business workflows. But there's more egregious stuff. You know about how there's like a CVS has ten severity, like every other week these days. So many JavaScript libraries. And, you know, they're all sort of in this one system, NPM. Each of the developers are updating their own libraries at the same time, which is all great when things are working well. So many apps are just like pulling stuff. People get tricked and hackers get in and, you know, people put evil things in code and then people pull down evil code into their app. You got to admire the engineering in some of these things. Some of these worms where they, they'll like infect your package and then modify the CI in there to spread to other packages. <laughs> Code you write in JavaScript doesn't last. It's like fish or house guests, right? <laughs> They're great at first, but in about three years, <laughs> it's gonna stink. But part of why this happens is because they keep rewriting all the frameworks over and over. jQuery and then React and then Vue and then, you know, Flutter. It all just keeps getting reinvented over and over. Although the frameworks, they kind of all look the same at this point. Yeah, they kind of do. At one point, jQuery was everywhere. Every, every interactive website was built with jQuery. And then, yeah. you know, people just realized like, oh, this is like, fixing problems in the JavaScript language. The best parts of it they picked out and put in the browser, and now it's like, okay. Is TypeScript slower than JavaScript? Why is Microsoft planning to rewrite TypeScript in Golang? Uh, so one, what is TypeScript? TypeScript is JavaScript with types. Big problems with JavaScript is that it has very weak typing. And when you write hundreds of thousands of lines of code, you, you can make terrible mistakes with that stuff. So why don't they add that to JavaScript? I don't know if they can. People are very cautious about backwards compatibility with JavaScript, the language, not the libraries necessarily. Maybe you could get types into JavaScript, but I'm not sure that it would be totally appropriate to put that through a, a big standardization process and get all the browsers to accept it. So the question is, is TypeScript slower than JavaScript? No, of course not. So then why is Microsoft rewriting in Golang? They're probably talking about the compiler. My guess is because JavaScript is slow. JavaScript's not that slow. It's right? not that slow. It's pretty fast. But Golang is up into the, the native speeds, right? Yeah. If that's the case, why are so many companies using Node.js as a backend to try and figure out which language to focus on? Well, I'll say, in fact, we are using <laughs> Node.js, which is server-side JavaScript as our backend. So why do we use JavaScript on the server side? You're in good company if you're writing a server with Node. I mean, you're not going to be lacking for support. There's a lot of people that are doing the same things as you, and problems will get solved quickly. And there's so many libraries. Yeah, I mean, can you imagine? So many, anything you want to do, I want to connect to one of these databases. It would be odd if you database. wanted to make your back end in assembly. Don't do that. <laughs> one of the comments is, for our back end, we don't care that much about speed. Oh, sorry, the part of our back end that your data packets go through when you're on, on speed 
Speedify. We care about speed, and that is not Node.js. What is that? Basically the same binary, but it handles packets in the opposite direction that we run on you know, your phone. Right, so optimized, compiled, C++, C++ code. native code. Right. But a lot of the code for helping you pick which server you should connect to, that's JavaScript code. A lot of people start with HTML, CSS, and learn JavaScript to supplement without really knowing how to program. That is absolutely right. And in fact, <laughs> with most languages, I, I feel like you know, I've really learned the languages. JavaScript, I'm like asking Claude to just make the changes for me. And before that, I, I was hitting uh, Stack Overflow and cutting and pasting code, right? There's like so much code out there. I will continue requesting changes on your behalf. <laughs> I have to say, my JavaScript has improved so much. Dramatically, yeah. Because you are such a big <laughs> All right, I think we are done. Anything, any parting words? Happy holidays. Happy holidays. See you online, guys.